While Hubble made it possible for us to rewrite those science textbooks, uncovering a vast new area of knowledge, witnessing phenomena that have never been seen before, as just described by our, our most recent Nobel scientist, Webb will reveal even more from its vantage point one million miles above the Earth. NASA has always been that engine of economic growth and job creation. The Webb Telescope is just the latest and greatest example of that. Uh, it's a great delight to be here at the Maryland Science Center and to be with three Nobel Prize winners and the display of the future of the James Webb Telescope. Here in Maryland, both at the Space Telescope Institute and Goddard, we have three Nobel Prize winners. The greatest telescope called the Hubble since Galileo invented the first one. And we know that great people and a great telescope produce great ideas. The James Webb Telescope will be larger, but it's not that the telescope will be bigger. It's that they will be able to do even bigger things than the Hubble. It will see 100 million times more than the Hubble could. That is stunning. It is truly stunning. Next Tuesday, the Senate will pass the federal budget that will put in $500 million to put the James Webb Telescope into space into the science books, into the history books, and secure America's place in astronomy for the next 50 years. We can now see with telescopes like Hubble a trillion times fainter than we could see with Galileo's telescope. And of course, I can't wait to use the James Webb Space Telescope, where we will be able to see a hundred times even fainter than that. We're going to be okay. Well, we're going to cut it here. Yeah. And you're going to have so I need all, I need Dan Reiner help you, and the others will hold the ribbon. Not bad for, you know, a B student. <laughs> well, maybe I exaggerated a little bit. Well, I'm going to do a countdown just like a hit. Come on in, Lori. Come in, Lori. Come on, Lori. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. we did with the Space Telescope Institute, with Wallops, and with the Hopkins Applied Physics Lab. I'm especially honored to recognize not one, not two, but three Nobel laureates. <laughs> Executive Director of the Space Telescope Science Institute at Johns Hopkins. Nicholas White, the Director, Science and Exploration of Goddard Space...